Hello to all my Cancerian friends. I have your February forecast right here. So let's jump in and see what's going on for you for February. Well, look at all the action right here. Of course, there's a lunation here, the full moon. But let's start with Mars, the red planet. Wherever Mars is, that's what you throw yourself into. It's what comes first to you. Um, it's what you're willing to fight with or fight for. I love it. Mars is in your sixth house of work and health. And so if you have a, a health issue going on, you're dealing with it head on. You're throwing yourself into projects, work projects. Uh, very exciting. Keeps you busy. Uh, and with Mercury getting ready to go retrograde, this is a perfect time to tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects. Now on the 15th, Mars enters your seventh house of relationships. This deals with uh, personal relationships, a spouse, uh, somebody very important to you. Uh, it can also deal with the public. So if you're involved with, in sales, uh, or just interacting with other people, that's going to be what's the most important to you. And you will attract people who are going to put themselves first. And you're going to put them first. So it works. There can be irritation on your part because they are putting themselves first. And you're still going to put them first. You're on the same page. All right. Now, the yellow planet. The sun, that's the center of our solar system. And wherever it is, it lights things up. It's in your eighth house of joint finances. So this is a terrific time to um, get to the bottom of any privately held or private uh, negotiations relating to money. Mutually beneficial financial projects. On the 19th, the sun moves into your ninth house, and you are seeing a much bigger picture than you did when it was in your eighth, because in the eighth house, you're looking beneath the surface at what is really going on. Uh, just kind of watching and seeing what's going on to make sure that you're on top of things, to get to the cause of issues. By the time it moves into your ninth house, you see it. You see the, you get your answers, and 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 you're ready to spread your wings and soar. Now, Mercury, our, our communication, correspondence, transportation, it's what we think about. When the sun is in your eighth house, your ego is undergoing a transformation. When Mercury is in your eighth house, your ideas are undergoing a transformation. Mercury is in your eighth house for two more days. On the second, it moves into your ninth house and leads the way for the sun and it brings your conscious attention, your focus, your mental agility to the big picture because you see things you didn't see before. I love it that I mentioned that. I love it more than twice. Perfect. Now, of course, Mercury goes retrograde on the 16th. It goes stationary on the 16th and retrograde on the 17th and everything is confused until it goes direct in March. So what you're gonna do is keep the information you have on hold, don't begin new projects, tie up the loose ends of unfinished projects. Now Venus, the pink planet, that's love. It's money, it's popularity, it's in your ninth house and you're loving travel, you're loving talking about concepts. You might meet people who think the way you do and you just love it. On the eighth, Venus enters your 10th house of your career and your public image and the world loves you. You are seen as a loving leader and you love being the leader. So go for it. Makes sense to me. Okay. We have a full moon on the ninth. On the full moon, everything comes to a head. The seeds that you have planted bear fruit uh, on the ninth. The full moon is in 20 degrees Leo. 
in your second house of money. Yes. Yes. I love it. <clears throat> so those financial seeds that you have planted can bear fruit. And then the next two weeks, the moon starts waning. And just before the new moon, for about two days before the new moon, uh, we're in what's called the dark of the moon. And there's no energy. If you look at the sky, you don't see the moon. On the new moon, which is the 23rd, it's in four Pisces. Your ninth house is reactivated. You're able to put the pieces of the puzzle together and see the big picture. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and yeah, you can go back to school and start a new degree if you want to. You can study higher mind topics and you can get on a plane and go along. So have a wonderful February and join me again in March when once again, I take a look at your solar chart. Till then, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.